The Latitude 64 Strive has been one of my favorite distance drivers for probably the last year or so. Uh, I've been throwing Trilogy for about a month now. This is probably going to be the last video on that series until I play a full Trilogy disc only tournament. But I wanted to compare the Strive in the Royal Plastic to the Grace in the Royal Plastic. And I also have a Grace in the Project Grip Plastic. Strive, a little bit faster than the Grace, but you guys told me I had to try Grace. So today I'm at Hornet's Nest. I'm going to play the back nine, as many holes as the discs are applicable. We'll go one Grace and one Strive off of each hole. I really want to iron out which one is actually going to be better for me and for my arm speed. This prototype one has been really good to me over the last year or so. Been able to get a nice, good turn in the mid-flight. That kicked 2,000 feet to the right. Let's see how the project grip fares. That turned over a lot more than I expected it to. All right, two bad ones off the top. Let's see if we can throw some nice ones today. So the game plan, now that I'm pretty much done with the 30 days of only Trilogy discs, I'll probably try and add one or two of these discs to my main bag. I'm kind of thinking the river and then the Strive will probably stay in my bag. Now I'm super curious to see how this Project Grip Grace flies on some of these really tough par threes out here at Hornet's Nest. See if I can throw a few shots that inspire me to bag it going forward. But the game plan for the future is to throw a lot more different brands, cover a lot more of the new drops that are coming out through the holidays, through the new year, and kind of get back to the regular scheduled content for at least the next two or three months or so. So the Strive here being a 13 speed is going to have quite a bit wider rim than the Grace coming in at 11 speed. The Strive and the Grace both feature a one turn. Grace is a two fade. This guy is a three fade. Profiles from the side when they're in the same plastic, look extremely similar. Uh, let's see if we can hit a nice line here. We'll go Grace, and then we'll go Strive. Oh, oh, okay. That got the double kick of a lifetime. Dead center cut there. Then we've got the Strive here. Oh, that's pretty much a perfect drive on this hole. That's going to be one point for this drive. And I'm pretty sure the Strive has got to be the most straight 13 speed I've ever thrown. Coming in at a minus one three, you think it would have a lot more bite to it at the end. But as you saw there, it's going to hang on pretty straight. As long as you can throw it somewhere close to 60 miles an hour. Oh, that Cenus did not have the fade. Oh, no. Pull 10 requires a 350 foot slightly uphill forehand. We'll try the Project Grip. This guy's been pretty stable so far, so I think it should be able to handle basically a full power flick. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good line. Wow. Okay, that was unbelievable. That was really nice. I don't know if the Strive is stable enough to do that. Might overturn on the same line. Yeah, I, I kind of missed the line, but... I could see that nose angle of the disc wanted to go down like this so, so quickly. There's no way it was going to be stable enough to do what the Grace did. I think the dominess on the Grace really helps it carry some nice distance. I don't think I've ever been pinned high on this hole. I've birdied this one from like circle's edge short. We're actually circle's edge, but pin high, which is a first for me. <laughs> this thing is also an absolute nightmare to find now that it's fallen, all the leaves are coming down. Hole 11 is about 3.30. You have to go through this gap, push forward quite a bit, and then crash hard to the left at the end. We'll throw the factory second Royal Grace, and then we'll throw the Royal Strive. I think I can just punch this flat through the middle gap. As long as I give it some height, we should be able to get it close. Ah, yeah, the Grace is quite a bit more stable for me than the Strive, seemingly. Pretty consistently, it's a bit more stable than I expect it to be. See if we can get the Strive to pop up a little more. Yeah, see how I'm getting that nice straight push out of the Strive? Oh, that skip, that was gonna be an absolute ace run. That's a bit better. If you hit those graces right, they really do fly well, but a little more stable than I was expecting. 
but I feel like that dome is really nice as well. And it's a pretty rare case where I would advise that the 13 speed option is actually more beginner friendly than the 11 speed option. Maybe my graces are particularly extra stable comparison to most, but based on these are, I think the only two graces I've ever thrown, maybe I've thrown one other, they seem to be consistently quite a bit more beefy than the Strive. And I feel like the Strive right out of the box is getting me that forward pushing action mixed with distance and a consistent fade. As to where the grace, maybe my arm's just not quite fast enough, but I'm not getting that like pop up and forward push that I'm looking for. Project grip finding itself right in the circle. Also really been enjoying putting with the daggers. When this challenge is all said and done, um, trilogy discs only, I may full time switch to daggers because I've honestly been putting lights out with them. And putting has been not great for me lately, but with the daggers, I've been pretty darn good. Hole 12 is gonna be our only like super wide open hole of the day. So we're gonna go one forehand with each and one backhand with each. Let's see how the grace and the strive perform on the two backhands. We'll go with the grace first, then the strive. I'm just gonna really try and rip these my best. Like I'm not getting, maybe it's a little nose up, that grace is pretty darn stable. I'm pretty confident that the strive is on a similar shot is going to get it like a completely different flight. Yeah, see how much better of a distance line that's going to be for this hole. It's not a great shot. It's too far to the right, but the strive is getting me that super easy penetrating distance as to where the grace, I'm just not getting it to pop up much. All right, let's try the four hands. We'll do the strive and then the grace. But on the forehand line, the strive is too flippy. And I feel like the grace is going to be absolutely perfect for this exact shot. And that's absolutely smoked. That's a bomb. But I can already tell this is going to be one of those great one-two punch situations. Um, for any of you guys that like the grace, but you're not getting that forward push and flip up that you want, the strive is going to make it a lot easier to get those sort of max distance lines. Put them up high in the air. You're going to get that easy turn. And although it's only a minus one turn, I think it's very likely flying like a minus two turn. I think the grace is definitely a zero or a minus one for me. But I think if you have each of them in the bag, you're going to have a nice and stable, consistent option. It's like your do it all workhorse driver. And then you have the strive for those much longer, much pushier shots. Hole 13, we need a forward penetrating shot that fades hard to the left at the end. We'll throw the grace and then the strive. Oh, it's the one tree to beat right in the middle. And one discernible difference that's certainly worth pointing out with this uh, project grip versus the normal Royal Grace, I think this one is definitely a bit more workable. Um, I find this one a little bit easier to throw for me. I think the Royal one, again, just not really able to get it to pop up. And, you know, it's probably a testament to my arm speed. But if your arm speed is similar to mine or slower, I think you're going to be able to get a lot of utility out of the project grip. But I think you'll really have to put some time in to beat in a new Royal one because this guy's flipping up a little bit, but the Royal one is not really for me. If you want a stable grace, get a Royal plastic. If you want a more workable one when it's brand new, just go ahead and get the project grip. Hole 14 is going to require a nice little pop up forehand, a little fade at the end. When powered down, project grip is still pretty stable. I have a feeling the strive is going to pop up almost right out of my hand. See that pop up and push? I've always gotten that out of the strive, and it seems so counterintuitive that that is the case. Brace 11 speed, strive 13 speed. I think most of us assume a faster and wider rim associated with a more advanced player. But with these two discs, it's certainly not the case. Again, slower arm speeds are probably gonna get a much better user experience out of the strive than they will the grace. But I feel like if you have a faster arm than mine, 65 miles an hour or more, 
you're not really going to like this drive. It's going to be too flippy for you. You should go ahead and get yourself one of the Royal Graces because that's going to get you the consistency and the stability that you're looking for. Hole 15, the gauntlet, the world famous gauntlet. The gap's like 10 feet wide. Basket's about 300, plays about 300, says 270 up the hill there. Let's see if we can't get one of these guys up there. With these discs and require an absolutely immaculate drive to get one up there. Oh, with the strive on that line, that's perfect. But the grace is just a little too beefy. Man, we need to hit that line and get a little bit of flip up. Hopefully the strive, we can <laughs> replicate that shot twice. Oh no, yanked it. I feel like on two relatively similar throws, we're really seeing the difference here. Hole 18, our last hole of the day. It's just gonna be a big forehand. And we're gonna do the Project Grip Flick versus the Strive Flick. We'll go Project Grip first. That's the Project Grip. Nice domey. Good distance. Probably, hopefully, is in, at least inside the circle. And we've got the Strive here. Two nice shots. Oh man, the Project Grip is absolutely parked and the Strive was a very near ace run. Wow, almost threw that one in. All right, we're gonna finish this up in the car here. Uh, I'll just give you guys my final thoughts quick. I think the Strive is probably the most beginner friendly 13 speed on the market. With that being said, I feel like if you like wide rim drivers, but you struggle with things like the Destroyer, the Nuke, definitely think it's worth giving the Strive a try. I don't throw super hard. I probably throw like just under 60 miles an hour on most throws and you see I was getting um nice little flip up nice little turn good distance shots but when i needed some more stability the grace was going to be the better choice i feel like the grace is probably a better workhorse driver than the strive especially if you're more advanced you have a faster arm and honestly if i'm throwing four hands in a tournament or a serious round i'm probably going to go with the grace most of the time unless i want just like a super long woodsy hyzer flip shot if i don't have room for full flex, like flat or Anheuser out of the hand, then maybe I'll throw the Strive. But I do think the Project Grip Grace is my favorite run in comparison to the Project Grip versus the Royal line. I think the Royal one, a bit too stable for me, probably not something that I would bag. But this Project Grip is awesome. And you saw that last hole is pretty far, plays right around 400 feet. Absolutely parked 400 foot flick with this guy. So I feel like the dominess really helps it carry some big distance. And I really enjoyed throwing both of the discs today. Honestly, they're both drivers that I would consider putting in the bag full time. I think the Strive will probably still be my like max distance driver slot going forward. And then this guy may come in and out because honestly, it just looks absolutely sick. You don't see a ton of these out in the wild. These are really, really cool. They feel really great and it flies nice and stable. So I'll probably choose this over like a destroyer just so I can throw something a little more cool, a little more unique and a little bit different. But that's just my preference. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Stay humble, live with gratitude. You are watching Iceberg TV and take care.